Hey, I'm Marianne Hewitt from Odomob. There are so many curling irons to choose from and you never know what curl you're gonna get. Well, I'm gonna show you the best five curling irons to choose from for various looks you want to achieve. So let's start with this tiny size. This is just a half an inch and this is from Hot Tools. If you wanna get really tight, small, tiny curls, this is what you'll use. So first, if you wanna get a tight or kinky curl, you'll use this. So this is gonna get you a really tight curl. Because this is such a small curling iron, the curls will be really tight. So you'll see, when I let this out, the curl will look like this. Now if you want it to look a little more natural, like you have curly hair, you'll just wrap it around the outside of the curling iron like this. So just wrapping around the outside and holding the end out. And then when you let it go, it'll look like this. So these are the two types of curls you'll get with a half inch curling iron. The next is the one inch iron. This is great for short or medium length hair and will get you a soft wave but still be pretty curly. I like this look best if you brush it out. So I'll show you what this curl looks like. And this is still pretty curly, but it's not as curly as the half inch. So this is what a curl looks like with a one inch iron. So a personal favorite of mine is the one and a quarter or one and a half inch curling iron. This is a really popular size and it'll get you a wave in your hair that isn't too curly and you can also straighten your hair with a bend. And that's what I did today with just this little shape right here. Because it's so big, if you wanna get curls to stay, set it with clips if you wanna hold the shape. It doesn't really work well for short hair, so this is for girls with longer hair. So now I'll show you what the curl looks like with a one and a half or one and a quarter inch. This is my favorite curling iron. And it'll come out and look like this. So it'll just be really loose and soft and pretty. And then I also said you can straighten it. So if you straighten it with a bend, you can just use it like this, and then bend the end. Straighten it with a bend on the end. So these are the two options for a one and a quarter or one and a half inch. Another iron to try are these curling ones. So these curling wands are what you use to get that beach wave. These are really great because they don't have a clamp on them, so you just wrap your hair around the outside. So there's two ways you can use this using this size curling wand. One way is if you wrap it really tight like this, with the hair right on top of each other, it makes a tighter curl. And then there's another way you can do it, which is a little bit looser, which gets you that even more beachy hair. So just hold this like this for a few seconds and keep the end straight. And then let go and the curl looks like this, which is pretty curly. And then there's another way to do it that's the beach wave that you're looking for. And this is really effortless and looks great on dirty hair. And that's wrapping it around loosely. So when you wrap it this way, instead of on top of each other like this, you're just leaving some space like this and kind of curling it at a diagonal. And that'll give you that beach wave that you can get with any curling wand. And then you leave that like that. And it just gets you this nice soft wave. So this is the tight curl and the loose curl, both using the curling wand. So this is the same curling wand I just showed you, just in a bigger size, so the curl will be even looser. So first I'll show you that same tight wave, which is the hair on top of each other. And you just hold it for a few seconds and let go. So this will be a tighter wave, but with a bigger wand, which will look like this. And then this is the looser wave with the same curl I showed you before by curling it, leaving space in between and diagonally. So this is more of that beach wave you're looking for. And again, just holding it for a few seconds and letting go. 
So this is the difference between the bigger curling wand and the smaller curling wand. So this is the tight wave and the beach wave. Well, these were all the basic sizes and styles of curling irons. Hopefully this helps you pick the right tool next time you do your hair. For more hair tutorials, go to modemop.com.